everybody, Jonathan here with another Twinbotion video. Now today, hot on the heels of my Quixel plants video yesterday, I'm making another video for you on the Twinmotion Presenter Cloud. So I'm really excited to share with you this tutorial. I think you'll agree this is just an absolutely mind-blowing way to share your projects with your clients in a fantastic way that everybody can view on an iPad, on an iPhone or whatever device they would like. So let's just jump into this. It's remarkably easy and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching everybody. And today I'm going to be looking at presentation and how to present your model in its best light. Now yesterday you can see I was making a model uh, using the twin motion assets, the new Quixel plants. And these were some of the assets that we explored. So if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you check it out. It was just released yesterday. But what we're gonna do is look at this project and show it off in its best light, hopefully, using some of the amazing presenter features. Okay, so let's just pop out full screen mode and you'll notice down in the dock, uh, you've also got panoramas, which we'll talk about. But I wanna talk about the presentation features to begin with. So if I go into my presentation, at the moment you can see I haven't actually got a presenter uh, created. So all I need to do to start one off is click create presentation. So the next thing I need to do is basically add some media to the presentation, a bit like building a PowerPoint slideshow. Now to do this, I can simply click on the plus button. And what you're gonna notice is it comes up with all the potential images that I've created on this project, both path traced ones and also raster rendered ones. So kind of let's just choose some of these images and drag them down into the dock. I'll just choose a few of these at the moment. Now, as you can see, uh, these are path traced because of the icon here. So they're kind of ray tracing in the background as we speak. Now you don't have to drag them down in the order that they come. So if you do want to completely kind of change the order, let's drag this one here, for example, and let's get a couple of nice night scenes in. There we go. This one here isn't path traced. Let's drag that one in as well. So you can kind of see the difference. And I think we'll get a couple of interior scenes as well, just to finish off the story. Okay. So that's a nice little selection just for now. So, Let's just have a look at this and then we'll come back and we'll do a bit of uh, changing and rejigging. So at the moment, as you can see, the path tracing function is on. Okay, so that's because that's in the image itself. Basically, if I go into full screen mode, what you'll notice is that you now have uh, the path tracing actually kicking in as well in the background, but you have all the images that I've basically created in my presenter file down here at the bottom. And I can kind of switch between those uh, very, very easily. And you'll see each one just sort of starts to render up as we go. So I would recommend you try this potentially without the path tracing, okay, because um, it works really, really well. And obviously it's a bit more instant when you're actually presenting on screen. So let's actually do that. Let's just go into our media. And basically for each of those images, I'm just gonna turn off the path tracing function. And okay, actually, yeah, good point. So what I need to do here is I just need to go back to my actual source image. And in here, just select those images one by one, turn the path tracing off temporarily. Let's turn that off. You can see it's pretty easy. You can turn that back on as required. I'll tell you what, I think Twinmotion should add a toggle that you could actually just turn it off just while you're in presenter mode. Um, because when you're in presenter mode, the whole point is you often want to kind of be able to create very dynamic and live presentations without the path tracing on. So that's okay. I've sort of turned that off fairly rapidly and I can re-enable it when I need to. Okay, great. So let's go back to our media, go to our presentation, and here we are. And as you can see uh, now, the renders go very, very rapidly between because we're not kicking in with the path tracing. Let's go back into full screen mode and now we can review our project. So basically what's really nice about the presenter is we're still available to basically navigate around in real time. We can even go into the lighting settings. So we can kind of like do that kind of study of the time of day and just sort of tweak how the image is looking at any time we like. But we can just simply hop back to the images Bit like slides uh, and basically review those. 
So I find this an absolutely amazing way to present to my clients. You know, when I'm doing new projects and I want to really, really blow the client away, uh, doing it in Vectorworks is one thing, but doing it in Twinmotion using Presenter is another level. So yeah, if I really want to impress the client, this is the way that I would choose to do it, using the Presenter mode and basically pre-lining up some of my kind of slides, if you like, and then um, being able to sort of just make some adjustments to things like the weather and time and stuff as well. So I absolutely love the presenter mode. I think it's a really, really unique feature. Um, so why don't we, you know, present more online? These days with Zoom, I do all my training globally via Zoom these days, you know, instead of sort of traveling around the country like I used to do, um, basically I work with clients all over the world using Zoom. So I've started to do this with my own local clients, even in sort of Loughborough and Leicestershire. And I find that, you know, often after I've met the client the first time, they're really, really happy to do uh, live sort of presentations. And in the comfort of their own home, they can kind of view the design and just get a really, really good impression of the project. It's very straightforward. If you do want to just reorder the slides, just so you can kind of like visualize those in slightly different order, depending on what you're looking to present to the client. There's another nice setting I just want to show you. So if you're a bit worried that um, the client might sort of navigate around, for example, to an area of the project that you haven't kind of modeled or you really don't want them to see, perhaps you're uh, gonna send this to the client and you really don't want them to see certain bits that you haven't finished, then to do that, all you need to do is go into the more settings and you'll notice that you can actually turn off the free ride. Okay, so free ride will basically mean you can go anywhere. Ride will mean that they have a certain path, things like the animation path. Um, and if you lock it, what will happen is now when we go to full screen, you'll notice that while I'm in the image, I'm using my uh, navigation keys and trying to click, but I can't actually navigate around. So this is basically quite good if you only want to show the client these set scenes. Now let's just compare that to uh, the previous setting. So let's go back onto free ride. Okay, there we go. Let's click on to uh, visualize full screen again. So now, even though I'm in the free ride, I can just go anywhere I like and basically explore the scene. And you're kind of allowing the client to basically move through the scene as they would like to do. Um, so it means they can go anywhere. So again, if you really haven't kind of modeled certain bits of the project, then you might not want them to explore those bits. So that's a really good little setting to remember. Okay. So the final little setting I just wanted to talk about is uh, something in here called uh, visual settings. So if you do want to, you can actually pop into the visual settings and you can actually present your project in a lot kind of uh, more graphical way just by basically dropping down and going to those visual settings. Here we go, let's put those on, different rendering styles. And you can see there's some quite nice sort of little kind of clay render styles as well. So this is actually really, really cool. If you kind of don't want to get drawn into uh, too much debate about the sort of uh, materials, you can basically just talk about the massing and the design of the project and how you've kind of done certain sort of uh, design aspects and so on as well. Let's just look at a few of those other little styles as well. I quite like this one, the wood one. It's quite nice, so like a wood card model, sort of balsa card model. What else have we got? Uh, a metal one, super shiny, not sure why I'd use that one. Then we've got the foam one and back to the, the default. I think out of all of those, my favourite one is probably the outline. Maybe the shaded outline, yeah, that looks pretty cool. So, you know, this is really, really nice. Uh, we can kind of like move around our model in whatever kind of speed we like and basically just kind of show off in a very sort of sketchy form what the project is all about. So I think these are very, very useful and uh, definitely something I'd recommend using. So I just want to add a final couple of touches to my presentation. So if I go up, I can also, as well as adding panoramics, now I haven't generated any of those yet, I can go to videos. Um, and this is actually very cool in that we can basically drag and drop a couple of video clips into the scene. Uh, let's get a nice sort of uh, animation there just after those two videos there. Let's have a nice uh, night one to finish off, and maybe one interior one there. So what you're going to now notice is, um, as well as being able to reorder the individual slides, I've got the videos in there. So when I click into full screen mode, I can basically play through these. And if I click the play button and just pause, you'll notice a little timer here. 
basically it just kind of plays through those individual images. Uh, I can actually still free ride around as well, but when it gets to the next image, just give it a second, or maybe I'll just click the play again. It'll basically play through and then it gets onto the animation. But what's incredible is even though it's animating, I can still free ride, still look around while it's actually doing the pre-recorded animation. I just can't think of any other way that uh, software can do this in terms of sort of presenting uh, all aspects of the design while allowing you quite a lot of flexibility as well. The really good thing about this is you can easily kind of get back on track uh, as you need to. As I say, I just love this ability to be able to kind of explore and look around on the computer and also when we export this to the cloud on things like my iPad and other devices as well, even my phone. So I definitely recommend you try the uh, presenter features if you haven't actually given them a go. They're really, really good motivation for you to present your project in its best light and show off to the client. So why don't we take a look at how this works on the Twinmotion cloud and how to export this off to the cloud as well in one simple, easy action. So we've got our presentation, uh, it's come together pretty well. I'm fairly happy with it now. Um, I love the way you've got a bit of kind of, uh, can you see the, the depth of field and a bit of kind of motion blur going on in that foreground? That looks really, really nice. Um, so what we're gonna do is go to the export tab, go to presentation, and you can see at the moment we've got access to the uh, Twinmotion cloud. It does say early access, but it's been going for a little while. So let's just click onto there, click onto our presentation, and fine. Now when we're ready, we can basically click Start Export. And what that will do is actually start talking to the Twinmotion Cloud and basically uploading those particular images and animations up to the cloud. Now it's gonna take a little while, so we'll come back in a mo when that's done and then we'll be able to open the Twinmotion Cloud and visit it actually on the internet via our browser. And when this is done, uh, I'll be able to kind of send this link to my clients or anybody who wants to have a quick look. And I'll see if I can share the link with you in the video description. So hopefully you can all have a visit and play with uh, this project if you're interested. Okay, so we'll leave this running and we'll come back in a mo to review. Now I just wanted to take this opportunity to highlight my book, Revolutionize Your Rendering with Twinmotion. This is a beautiful 320 page fully illustrated PDF and ebook that's available for you to buy in uh, on the store. And it features some of the best featured artists from all over the world. So if you want to learn more about Twinmotion, take a look at the book and I really hope you enjoy reading it. And thanks for watching. So welcome back everybody. And you can see that now uploading to the cloud, the export of my presentation was successful. So all I need to do is click on the Open Twinmotion Cloud icon and basically that will launch my browser. And here we can see my Twinmotion Cloud Early Access with all my different presentations available. Now there's quite a few things that I can do now. If I do want to, obviously I can just uh, rename this one. Let's just rename this one Grid House, name of the project. And I can share with a password if I want to. And basically I can give a link as well. So here is the link and my password and I'll basically put this into the channel if anybody would like to view this. So if I'm ready, I can click on the view button and all I need to do is basically just wait for a few seconds while it connects to the Twinmotion cloud. It shouldn't be too long and note that you now get a 90 minute uh, maximum presentation and after 30 minutes it times out if there's inactivity. Um, so this is something just to be aware of. Uh, but that's a pretty good amount of time and so on. Okay, so welcome to the uh, Twinmotion Cloud. My project is now loaded and this is essentially what your client will see. So they're gonna be greeted by a welcome screen with a little navigation uh, thing. So if they're new to Twinmotion, of course, as a client, they may well be. So basically I can kind of pan around and just have a little practice kind of panning and moving with my middle mouse button. I can scroll and scroll out to zoom and of course I can right click and orbit. Okay, so when I'm finished, um, I can basically suppress this. There's a few other directions here about the speeds as well. Let's just go for it. So basically here I am uh, in my project and this is exactly what the client will see. So depending on the uh, device you have and the internet speed, you can see the quality is actually really, really good. It's not quite as good as my Twinmotion, 
Okay, and it does take a second to refine as it loads in. So if you kind of pause for a moment on a particular area, then you'll notice the uh, quality gets a little bit better as it actually loads in uh, a bit more resolution. But other than that, it's actually a fantastic way to share. And actually I'm on a 32 inch screen at the moment. So do remember if you are on a slightly smaller screen, I'd say the experience is um, a little bit clearer in some ways. Let's just go for that full screen look. Now there's a couple of buttons we can do. If we want to, we can click onto the settings and this is extremely nice. We can kind of scroll through the times of the day just like we would in twin motion if we were able to. We can also adjust the speed of the camera. So do remember you've now got up to six speeds. So let's just drop it down to number three. When I'm walking around using my keyboard, you can see that's going quite nice and slow now. So depending on the speed you need, uh, just use the adjustments here. Now, if I want to, I'm in uh, drone mode, but if I click walk mode, that will drop me down to eye level. And actually, as you walk forward, uh, you'll notice that it kind of jumps up and down at eye level and the, when you hit barriers and things, you won't be able to walk into them. So it's actually quite good for experience the project at that sort of perspective of eye level. Let's pop back to drone mode. Um, there's a couple of other settings in here that we already talked about. The uh, visual settings are also available in that cloud view. Again, personally, I'm only really keen on just maybe uh, one or two of those. Quite like the outlines uh, and I quite like the um, foam card one. That's okay, apart from the blue. Great, okay, we've also got the resolution here so you can switch between the resolution depending on your internet connection and that will give you different levels of quality. And then finally, um, if we go to uh, the controls, it gives you another reminder of the controls there. So what I'm gonna do now then is click onto this panel to pop out. And here you can see all the different images that I'm available. And what's nice about this actually, it does actually retain uh, the sketch mode I've just noticed. So let's just pop out and put that visual setting back to normal. Here we go, let's just go to default and let's just hide that panel there and let's just review these images uh, as the client would be able to do. Now do remember you can do this on both an iPad, iPhone um, and any other device as well, it doesn't have to be an Apple device that supports the Twin Motion Cloud. But what a great way to share your information and your design ideas with your clients. Um, I really can't think of a more immersive way to be able to do this um, and the benefit of being able to do things like change the time the weather just to kind of show how this project might work in reality. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a fantastic way to uh, present and share your projects with your clients. Now if any of you would like to view this I will leave the link of the uh, Twinmotion Cloud uh, viewable file in the description of the video and I really look forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching everybody and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.